Hey guys, Danny Thompson here from Garmin. I'm down at Wade Middleton's place here in beautiful Texas, and I've actually got one of these new Garmin shreds with me that we're gonna actually do an install on this Yamaha UTV that I've got next to me. So let's go ahead and dig into the box of this unit. So this is actually the eight inch model here. It comes in a five and a half, an eight inch and a 10 inch model. We've got the eight inch here with the actual group ride radio built right into it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the box here. So you can see we've got this beautiful Garmin tread right here. This is an eight inch screen. I like the eight inch screen because it fits nicely on the units, but gives you a big enough screen to be able to view everything and kind of split, split screen what you got. Cool. Also in this box here, as I kind of open it up, the nice thing that Garmin does is we love to put everything right in the box for you. And I think this right here is one of the coolest things that these treads come with. Um, this is actually gonna be a clamp mount. So we're gonna be able to clamp this right onto the roll cage of this Yamaha unit here. And this is actually the clamp here. You know, it's great. This comes standard right in the box with the Garmin unit. Um, then of course we got everything else in here from extra antennas. We've got the power cable with plenty of cord on there so we can reach all the way through this unit. And then of course the back, this, this back on these things is really nice. The mount that comes with these tread units, it's gonna have a magnet um, where the unit can actually stick right to the magnet of the unit and then the ball of it. But it also has a lock because we know that it's gonna get a little bit rough in the side-by-sides or snowmobiles or wherever we're using these and it actually locks that unit right in place, which is nice. And then just kind of your other stuff here, we've got the cable to hook it into our computer. We've got the antenna for the group ride. And then of course, you know, the group ride mic we've got right here, awesome feature for talking to the other riders that you're with. All of this right in the box of the Garmin Tread. So let's go ahead and get started with this install. So as we kind of come around to the front of the unit here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the tread, we're gonna mount it right here on the roll cage. So we've got great viewing of this while we're driving um, from the unit. And I've actually gone ahead and taken the liberty of going ahead and kind of pre-setting up the machine for doing this. Yamaha actually has some accessory plugs right here. So I went ahead and took the power cable and already added one of those Yamaha um, clips. So it's just gonna be a real easy plug and play install for the Garmin tread on this Yamaha unit um, but what we've done is we've kind of removed the firewall here and the hood and I'm going to be able to run this power cable right into that plug and mount it right here on the roll cage so I'll go ahead and get started on that so we've got the actual end that's going to plug into the to the Garmin unit here we can kind of fish it up through the firewall of the machine here all right so we've got the cable kind of run up through here and I'm going to actually bring it right up where the roll cage comes through we don't need a whole lot of cable here, probably just enough to get to the mount of that tread unit right there, which should be plenty. We've got the rest of the wire, which will secure down in here to that plug. But now I can actually go ahead and install my mount that mounts right to the roll cage here to just kind of see how much space I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna actually put the arms probably towards the inside of the unit here. Open this up so I can get around the bar here. There we go, and bring it to about there. Tighten that one up. Get it really nice and snug. These clamps, you can really uh, snug them down tight so you don't have to worry about it moving around or bouncing on us. And then bring this one up a little bit. Right like that, I think we'll be good. All right, so now that we've got the mount onto the roll cage here, I've actually got the mount that the unit goes to. And this is, this is kind of the brains of it. So it's gonna have the the ram ball on it, and then it's gonna have all of our power plugs and whatnot right here, right on the unit. So we'll go ahead and get that secured down to our mount. Open it up so we can do that. There we go. And about like that there. And we can adjust this obviously once we once we get the unit in there. So now the great part with this Garmin tread is it literally snaps right in there, magnetic like that there, and it's in. And I'm going to go ahead and lock it down. So now this thing's gonna be solid no matter how many bumps we hit and whatnot, it's gonna stay right there so you have easy access to it from the driver's seat. And we can go ahead and plug all of our cables in and then we'll be ready to go. And I'll go ahead and get this power cable connected so you can see power is obviously gonna be your red end here. We make a nice waterproof. There's actually a rubber O-ring in there. So everything's gonna be waterproof and sealed. Um, go ahead and line them up. They kind of push together and then actually screw together to keep, keep them watertight, which is what we're gonna want. 
We can go ahead and run that down. And there is some zip ties that come in the bag, so we can go ahead and kind of secure everything like that. But that looks to be about the right length that we'll want. So you actually, it does come with a little antenna for our group ride radio. This is going to be the one that screws right into the mount. There is actually an extension that comes in the box as well if you need to run that antenna a little bit further out. So now we've got that. And last but not least, we have our group ride mic right here. So we're going to be able to mount this right into the unit. This is going to plug right into that mount where everything else does. You can see the plug right here. I will go ahead and get the group ride radio plugged in. And once again, you're going to want to screw that tight to keep it waterproof and sealed. And now we're good to go so we can actually communicate with all of our other units that we've got these tread units uh, mounted into. So one other thing that does come in the box is actually the dust plate that's going to go over your mount when we go ahead and remove this tread when we're done, keeping dust, snow, ice, any of that stuff off of our connections um, on the unit. So you can install this when you're not using the tread unit. So the great thing with these Garmin treads is they're just action packed with tons of features and actually quite a few different modes. So we've got this one mounted here on the Yamaha R-Max and so we'll probably put this obviously into the side-by-side -side mode. And the cool part is once you do that, it'll actually set up your trails and your maps for this size and style of unit. So, you know, back home, if I want to set it up for snowmobiling, I can set it up for snowmobiling. And then on my drive down to Texas, I actually use it as my navigator, just as the Garmin Newbie would be right in the pickup truck. And you can go ahead and select all those different features right on the Garmin tread. So when you want to view your map, you can go ahead and you, cl you click on view map and it's going to bring up the full screen of the map. And you can see we've got all the different roads and even some of the different trails a lot of different data sets that we can go in and adjust to data sets that we want right on the screen and you know kind of built right in you can even see property owners and that kind of stuff right on the map which is some cool features built in from our Garmin HuntView maps. One other thing that I really like especially kind of down here where we're at in Texas there's a lot of areas with poor cell coverage and when we're out on the UTVs we want to be able to have some communication back home or with um, you know, emergency situations if we needed to contact someone. So right on the Garmin Shroud, we've actually got the satellite antenna built right into the unit. We've got the SOS button right here on the side. So it kind of makes it an all-in-one um, unit where everything's right here on the Garmin Shroud. So one of the neatest features of these Garmin Shred units, I think, is the group ride feature. So what this is going to allow us to do is as we've got other tread units and some of these other side-by-sides that we've got here, we're actually going to be able to see those other people and their units on our screen. So we can kind of keep track of everybody as we're driving around here in the Texas wilderness and keep track of everybody as we drive along. The other great feature of the Garmin group ride is the ability to communicate with other folks that have the Garmin Shred that are on our group ride so we can communicate with them from the mic and we can also send the messages that are preloaded or ones that we make right through the unit. The Garmin Tread is an awesome unit especially when we pair it with all the features from the inReach to the group ride to the built-in maps with the hunt view units. These Garmin Treads are great units to have on your side-by-sides, your snowmobiles, and in your auto automobiles. Check out the Garmin Tread at Garmin.com.